Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's uh, raining, as per usual, but who cares at this point? So, been a bit busy yesterday, and I'm gonna be a bit busy for a couple of days now because I have some things at work that need to be finished, and then in my free time, I have to do some accounting tasks. So, it cuts into my programming time a bit, which I don't like, but at the same time, life is life and we'll get back to it. So, <clears throat> anyway, today I thought I would talk a little bit about Serenity on OpenBSD, because yesterday uh, Joshua posted a very interesting video on Twitter, which I will link below, of him running uh, the Serenity desktop, um, like the GUI and the apps and everything, on top of an OpenBSD kernel and base system. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, and very, very interesting and super awesome work by Joshua to get that up and going because it's something that I've talked about before on this uh, show, I suppose this is, uh, about uh, the possibility of running Serenity on a different kernel. And, you know, it's one thing to say it that I think that's possible and pretty doable and so on, and it's a whole other thing to see someone actually do it. And I have to admit, Joshua, I did not expect to see it so soon, so that's that's really cool. Um, and of course, this uh, has forced me to think about a few things. <clears throat> and like, what does it mean to have it running on another system like that? So I think the first thing it means is that Serenity is pretty portable, um, which is super awesome. It means that, um, you know, on the whole, it's been sticking to a very Unix-y um, architecture that's possible to get up and going on a different, an entirely different Unix that has a different um, implementation entirely. So, super cool. Uh, of course, there are a whole bunch of patches and fixes to make this work, but I've looked at them a little bit. I didn't have so much time, but um, it looks like a lot of like portability fixes and like POSIX compliance, essentially. So, a whole bunch of things that we should be doing anyway. So I really hope that Joshua will upstream that stuff because it will be a, an improvement to the code base in general. So I think that's, that's really, really awesome. And I would love to get to a point where um, you don't need any external patches to run the system on top of OpenBSD if you, if you wanted to. Um, but this also makes me think about uh, what it is I like about having a custom kernel and a custom base system, which, uh, as again, I've talked about before on this channel, um, which is about like the, the system integration and um, development productivity aspects. Like the, Those two things really are uh, huge for me because I, I, I come from... Apple, right? Spending so many years there and just getting used to that way of developing stuff. And I just can't shake the feeling that you make better things if you make everything together. Uh, that's it. I just have seen so much pudding proof of that. So I'm that's that's how I want to do things. But uh, that's not that's not to say that I think that. Uh, the Serenity kernel is better than any other kernel at the moment. Obviously, it's very uh, young and immature and everything, and if you put a more mature system underneath, then you'll probably have a much more stable experience in general at the moment. But um, I like, I like the, um, the integrations that we're able to do, because you move to another kernel and you lose things that we have, like, uh, like purgeable memory and... Um, the uh, priority boosting uh, things and stuff like that. And there are probably ways that you could replicate these in other systems, but um, when we're developing the Serenity desktop, then we are able to build these kernel mechanisms like hand in hand as we, um, as we build out the desktop. So it really, really helps move things forward. So, um, and then, of course, the developer productivity part, like where I, I really, really enjoy having a system <clears throat> that's written in the same style, using the same abstractions, or the same type of abstractions in the same container classes and everything. 
in one big repository because it means that you can you can change something and um, you can make these big atomic changes that alter every part of the operating system in one commit. Um, and if you improve a data structure, uh, that improvement uh, spreads throughout the entire system. Uh, say that you like you make some nice optimization to a the, our, the, our hash tables or our vectors or um, our circular queues or whatever, right? Um, any every piece of code that uses that abstraction in the code base in the whole system now benefits. And I don't know, I I, I just really like that. It's something I really loved about. WebKit, for example, which um, has like its own containers and templates library called WTF. And whenever you change something in WTF, I always thought it was neat that um, you change something in WTF and you would improve JavaScript core and web core and the WebKit layer and even uh, the Safari browser because they were also using WTF to an extent. And um, in Serenity, I'm, I'm taking that to the extreme and putting the whole operating system on the same um, container library, which means that you change vector in ACK and so much code benefits. So I really dig that kind of thing. And of course, if you start to, to modularize things and you put like an OpenBSD base system underneath, then you lose that, that fun um, aspect of it. And I don't think that like developer fun is a negligible um, metric. I think that's a very important metric because for a project like this that is essentially driven by passion and curiosity, you, you really want to maximize uh, developer fun because once that starts to dwindle or, or run out, then a project like this would not be able to continue. So, very, very important to have fun. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, but that's not to say that it's not cool. It's like, it's super cool to see the system running on another kernel. And uh, it looks so snappy, too, right? And I could see the browser flickering, because probably we're doing a whole bunch of pointless um, updates. And... Uh, once I have a, a large block of time and less responsibilities that I than I have at the moment, I am going to take take that time and rewrite the layout engine in the browser, base it on the latest CSS iteration. But um, and, and like dig down into issues like that, <laughs> like pointless updates. Um, but. So many things I want to do, and normally I don't feel this way, but right now I do because I'm restricted in my ability to spend time on programming. So I start to feel like, oh, what am I even gonna do? Like when I when I get time again, oh, I'm gonna do this and that and that and that. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a nice feeling, but it's also terrible because I have to wait. Anyway, we'll get there. But yeah, huge, uh, huge props to Joshua for, for getting uh, the system going on a different kernel. And I hope to see the patches upstream. That would be really cool. And I would like it if, if we can keep developing the system in such a way that this type of thing remains possible, maybe even becomes more possible. And um, I would like to have a portable, portable user land. So, doesn't mean that I want to run it on a different kernel myself. But the possibility is neat, right? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what to say more about that today. So I gotta go to work and um, put together a whole bunch of demos and things. And um, it's all pretty fun, but stressful. So. I hope your stuff is fun and maybe not as stressful, but a little bit of stress is always good to, to make things happen. So thanks for hanging out with me on the commute, and I'll see you next time.
Bye.